global health challenge that has gripped the world and our country, my government continues to roll out a raft of measures to mitigate the disruption to our life arising from this uh, pandemic. So in that regard, and indeed to foster communication and enable Kenyans to retain and enhance remote access to their offices and enterprises, my administration has granted approvals that will ensure that universal 4G data health coverage is available throughout our country. I am pleased to announce that the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority has signed an agreement with Google Loon in order to allow Loon balloons to fly over Kenyan airspace. These balloons, which will hover well above our commercial airspace, will carry 4G base stations and have the capacity to provide wider signal coverage. This intervention will enable Kenya to retain her competitive advantage in ICT and innovation in the midst of the current crisis while at the same time laying foundations for greater expansion once the current health challenge is contained. The development will also enable Telcom Kenya and Google Loon to start the commercial rollout of a 4G data network in our country. These two companies have been testing this service for the last two years. Once inaugurated, this service will extend Telcom Kenya's 4G network to areas that are not covered by any of our mobile network providers. Therefore, all Kenyans, wherever they are in our country, will enjoy access to high-speed and affordable internet services. I note the gesture by Google Loon and Telcom to offer their 4G service to support our efforts in surveillance and management of coronavirus infections. And this will go a long way in containing the present health challenge. Indeed, access to these services will keep Kenyans connected to emergency services and to their loved ones, whether isolated or in quarantine, or whether working from home or their usual workplaces. Equally, this service will also enable teachers and students to access education materials remotely, especially in this challenging time, thus enabling our students to continue learning from home. As you are all aware, my administration has developed and is implementing a comprehensive lessons program for all our learners to access while safe within their homes. On that note, I want to continue thanking members of our fourth estate who have also agreed to adjust their own daytime programming to accommodate our children at home. The Google Loon and Telcom Kenya partnership allows learners in every corner of our country to continue learning through access to soft copy edition materials and assignments. I want to thank all those in government from the various ministries who have worked hard over the last two weeks or so to fast track this process of approval 
and also on behalf of the Kenyan people to thank Google Loon for offering this service initially without levying any charges for this is what true partnership between the government and the private sector means. We are currently also working on other initiatives to support our private sector during this particular difficult time. Most importantly, to ensure that they are able to continue to pay our hardworking Kenyans who have been employed by them. But we would also encourage that our companies and businesses do also that which they can to work with us and to support government during this particular period. The use of technology will increasingly become important. Only yesterday, the Kenyatta Diagnostic Center here at Kenyatta Hospital where we have the CT scan center. We did, and it was the first to happen on the African continent using technology. They were able to remotely conference with three centers in China, one in Egypt, another in France, and also with Eldoret, Moy Referral Teaching Hospital where they were able to exchange with professionals and clinical officers across the world to share both experiences and practical ways in which we can defeat this virus that is upon us. So the use of technology will continue to become increasingly important as we move forward. More updates on the state or our current state of the virus will be given later by the Ministry of Health in their regular daily briefings. But at this juncture, I cannot but continue to emphasize the need for each and every one of us to follow the protocols that have been laid out by the Ministry of Health. Most importantly, with regard to the danger posed to our population by people who flagrantly refuse to adhere to the laid down protocols. I want to once again and categorically reaffirm that the government will take the severest action against any individual who knowingly breach these laid down conventions and procedures and in turn put the rest of the population at risk. So I encourage you, each and every one of you, let us follow the guidelines as has been given by the Ministry of Health. Let us be our brother's keeper, let us be our sister's keeper. And I am sure that if we do this, we shall overcome this particular pandemic. As I said, in a few days' time, we shall also be having a further session with private sector where we shall be announcing a raft of measures that the government will take to support our businesses and to support our people during this particularly difficult time. I thank you all. And thank you all for coming. Asante Nisana. Thank you.